the school bar. Welcome to you. I'm so excited to have you here today. Well, thank you for having me. And can you give me your full name? Oh, my name is uh, Stanley Gaviria Colentino. And I'm so happy you're here today. Can you tell me about these pieces of artwork that we're looking at? Well, first of all, I would like to thank you for being the director of the gallery, the Alma Rooms of the Lane, right? Yes. So, uh, I'm pleased to meet you. That because I've been here a couple of times, but I've never seen you before. Because I come straight to the, you know, I was busy days on time in the gallery. And before we go into the, our work, I guess it's important to say that I came from Central America and South America. And I guess it's important because sometimes the artist background at some point has something to do with the artwork. You know, if you want to not, you could have it yourself into the pieces. You can't avoid to put emotion in. Because then you struggle to try to come up with something that you like first, you know. These pieces in particular are always I work, you can say, surreal work. What does surreal mean exactly? It's the, the reality over, the reality is like a dream. Like a, uh, also some people consider it like a magic realistic. It's the same thing, right? Like a, you portray reality in a way that, like a, uh, with some kind of some, fantasy way, like you said, you made me, f the love for you made me feel flying in the sky, and then you created a painting about the guy flying. I see. It's a representation about reality and very magic way. I see that. It's very evident in your work. The way you describe it is exactly how you feel when you look at these. But I guess at some point it's like point, right? Like if someone say, your darkness eyes are like the darkness of the night that without it, you can see the star. So you creating a, a you play with work in a way to come up with something that is there in reality, but in a very magic and mystic, whatever you want to call it, way. So it's pretty much much realistic and surreal work. You know, for example, this one, the title is um, The Grateful Woman. What you see there is a woman just looking ahead to the sky, at the open sky, and then you're thinking, what this woman may be grateful for? It can be for life, it can be to God, it can be everything that you thinking of that you can be grateful for, it can be there. Not necessarily have to be God. She might not be being God. But I might be happy for family, for healthy, for the body she has, with nature, with the whole idea about life. You know? So I know to work in very emotional, human emotion because it doesn't matter who you are, your former education, your background, your age, your uh, position in society, the role you play in, the money you make it. Everybody is feeling emotion, human, not, uh, simple emotion like sadness, uh, melancholy, uh, fears, love, passion, your instinct. Uh, our instinct pretty much is the same. So that's why for me that people understand why I want is very easy. I try to make it easy because it's about them in the end. You know, uh,